How you going guys? My name is Lee. And I'm Chris. And we're here again at the Sunshine Coast M4 A1 store, Bullcock Street there for another Gel Blaster Review Tuesday. And on today's episode, we are reviewing this HE ACR. Cool, I'll hand it over to Chris for the unboxing of this blaster. Okay, guys, what you get in the box, most importantly, safety glasses. I pray, guys. Uh, muzzle brake, yep. uh, iron sights, laser dot, 7.4 battery. Got your magazine, got your front foregrip, got your little tool kit and your little screws there. We've got a scope, a fake hog, and, and, <laughs> and your gel blaster, HE ACR. Run us through, Chris, uh, how you would set yours up out okay. of the box. First up, put the battery in, pop it up like, like this, so. So I open it up, put my battery in, slide it in the back here. Just fits in there nicely. Close it back up. Magazine in. Um, I personally rather just the, the sights, the open sights. Yeah, you don't run the, the ACOG, do you? I don't really no. see the point in running the ACOG. Yep. When you're in my sights, I'm just blasting gels until you put your hand up. Yeah. <laughs> um, put them on here like this. Always, yep. The my flashback. Yep, I don't use the handle because I'd, I'd rather just hold it. Well, I'll run you through a little bit uh, about this blaster, guys. Uh, the blaster is made of uh, complete nylon. Uh, in construction, uh, you've got internally, you've got a uh, nylon gearbox. It's a Gen 8 style gearbox. It's not a Gen 8. Uh, the gears are similar, but they are not the same. So they're not completely interchangeable. Uh, the posts on these gears are a little bit different in their size. But again, Nylon gears, nylon gearbox, it does run a MOSFET down inside the handle. Uh, this blaster does have a fully automatic and a semi-automatic uh, function. Uh, again, you've got your little mag prime, so if you do choose to run your primer, click your handle in, that's where she lives, in there. Um, plastic sights, um, plastic fake hog, uh, plastic outer barrel, uh, plastic inner barrel as well. Um, you can do a spring and o-ring on these things and they will hold up and they are made from the same factory as the uh, HE Punisher. Uh, so if you're looking for an entry-level blaster that you're not looking to go too crazy on, these blasters are actually not too bad guys. If you keep them on your 7 volt or run one of your uh, red style uh, 11 volts, uh, not like Eternity style, because that is definitely going to mince those gears, but one of those um, lower end 11 volts, yeah, it's not going to be a bad little blaster. We've had them running 280 FPS uh, fairly reliably, so yeah, as long as you're not silly with them, they're not too bad. Um, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, we always like to uh, rate our blasters. Yeah. Uh, a few different uh, key categories yeah. uh, out of 10 here at uh, M4A1, yeah. Sunny Coast. So first up on the list, uh, looks, Chris, okay. what are you going to rate this blaster? I rate 10? it definitely a 7 out of 10. Seven. It is missing a few things that I think could have been added to it to make it look a little bit better, but yep. it, it is an ACR Punisher. Yep. And yeah. Or HE ACR. HE ACR, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, for myself, uh, I did rush out and buy one of these when they uh, first were released. I definitely do like the ACR, uh, again from those Call of Duty days. Um, yeah, looks wise, I will rate it a 7. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Um, fire power, Chris. Fire power, definitely 7 again. Yeah. If it's able to do 280 all day, I'm yeah. running on the right gear, then... That's definitely a 7 out of 10 for me. Yeah, uh, in the standard form for me though, uh, straight out of the box, I think this blaster's hitting, uh, depends on what one, we've had them hitting up to the 250 straight out of the box guys, so depending on what one you get, 
Uh, the majority of them average roughly 220 to 230. That's not too bad for myself. Uh, I'll give that a seven again. Um, Modability, Chris, what do you reckon? Six or seven out of ten again. Yep. Um, just purely because it's got a plastic ABS gearbox inside, so yeah. I can't really see us being able to get it too far without things breaking and yep, yeah. troubles arising. Yeah, nylon. They, they got that yeah. nylon box. Um, that, again, they hold up to the lower the lower mods. If you're not crazy with your spring and your, um, your motor and your battery, they're not too bad. Um, yeah, for myself, uh, it's no Gen 8, uh, it's no V2, it's in a world of its own. I'll go around the 6, yeah. Cool, and last one, durability. Durability. Chris, what do you reckon? I'd give it about a 5. Yep. 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 I can't see it surviving many drops yep. on the field, but it's still sturdy. Yeah, well, for myself, guys, I'm actually going to give it a 7 again for durability. It is pretty solid. Um, yeah, for myself, I think it's pretty good if you use it how it's intended to be used. Yeah, it's going to be a fairly good blaster. Definitely a great one to get in and try out just if you're getting into the spawn. Uh, awesome. In conclusion, Chris, what yep. do you reckon? Um, yeah, yeah, not a bad, great bad starter. Blaster. If you're looking to start out in the sport and you don't want to spend a heap of money, these blasters are selling perfect. For 170 170 dollars. Um, also remember to uh, jump in on that. Is the Fortnite Website, pack? The Fortnite and pack. We've got the. Um, I think it's 180 and the, you 185. Sorry, and you get the uh, extra magazine and you also get a uh, couple of a, a bag of gels. Sorry, so. Usually the mags alone are $25, $25. Yep. yeah, so you're saving straight up. Yep, straight away. the mag and the gels there. A perfect so. gift for, say, your 13-year-old son or... Oh, definitely. You know. uh, get them out onto the field, guys, and um, something, yeah, great to get them started. Um, otherwise, guys, come down to the store. Come and see these things in person. Pick them up, have a shoot, then you can actually see what you really think of them. Uh, we've got our store here at the Sunshine Coast, 134A yep. Bullcock Street, Caloundra. Yep. Uh, then you've got the uh, store at 17 Mile Rocks. Uh, you've got the store at Adelaide there with yep. Reese and the guys. Ipswich. Uh, brand new one at Ipswich. Wynnum. New store at Wynnum. New store at Wynnum. Also have the Moray Field store. And uh, the Toowoomba store as well. Up on the mountain there. So, <laughs> uh, get into one of our store guys in, in person. And if you can't, m4a1gelblaster.com. Uh, and then every order over $30, you are going to get free, free shipping. shipping. So, brilliant. yeah, that's pretty cool there as well. And uh, check out the other specials we do have online as well for your different packs and whatnot. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's really it from us here at the Coast, guys, for another Gel Blaster Review Tuesday. Remember to stay safe. Don't go running around the streets. Wear your safety glasses. Always, always have your eye protection on. And, um, yeah, we hope to see you down on the field sometime. See Maybe you soon. There. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, you can't forget, Chris, um, Facebook, Instagram, yep. and YouTube. And how do we go with our dislikes, Chris? Double tap. Double tap. So if you don't like it, double tap that dislike button if you do have any positive comments that you can uh, give back to us guys drop them down below yeah uh, we'd love to hear your feedback any ideas on future videos let us know cool all awesome. right now we'll catch you next time <laughs>